Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it a ton. It's weird, I'm not wearing glasses. I'm not wearing sunglasses right now. It's probably pretty weird for, for you and me. Wow, it's, 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 there we go. Kind of? Remember when I told you I have an addiction to boxes? I, I have another one. It's, it's right, right there. I have another box. Uh, I think these are actually the first flying Miata parts, flying Miata parts that I actually have for the Miata. I got foam and plastic! Woo! Uh, no. Actually, I got... Flying Miata sway bars, adjustable links, and then I also got uh, the door bar bushings as well, which are in here. And here's the, uh, all the pieces for the uh, sway bars to go around. So to explain really quick, these old rubber bushings right here, if you can't see, they, uh, they're pretty you know, loose here. Plus you can see it's kind of starting to wear at the top here a little bit. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it's a 30 year old bushing. It fits right in here. Wow, it's kind of not visible. It fits right in here. So, I'm going to start with uh, doing this guy first. So this is the old bushing, if it focuses. Hopefully you can see how, how much I'm squeezing that. And this is the new bushing. Obviously this is hard plastic, so it's kind of not possible to squeeze. This is also lighter, but most importantly, this is supposed to increase chassis stiffness by about stiffness by about 3%. And I don't know if I really believe that truly, but this was 50 bucks and takes about 30 seconds to install. So might as well try it. All right, now this is self-adjusting as long as I don't hit the camera. Nice and slow here. You obviously don't want to over tighten this, but you want to give it a good. All right, now let's double check. Okay, it's just a touch off. It's it's fine. It'll be it'll be. Okay, I took the liberty of taking off my wheels and tires and lifting up the car off uh, camera. Uh, if you don't remember my beautiful new uh, tie rods and my extended lower ball joints, check out that video. So I need to kind of see what in the heck it is I'm doing. I have to remove this splash shield right here. There's the sway bar bushing so there's the sway bar obviously so I gotta get that off man look at how bent that thing is from that accident I had so I also need a new sway bars desperately sway bar length so yeah let's, let's kind of see how this goes I need a new sway bar sway bar lengths anyway of course, I'm all focused. Stupid juice of an X. I love this camera though. Of course, I actually need a new spray bar links anyway, because I mean, look at this thing. It's, it's not even straight anymore. So. Okay, so I got this out of the way enough so that hopefully I can get here. Now, obviously, my goal with this car is to get it as stiff as humanly possible, but I'm constrained to this thing called money, right? So I did not buy these new fancy brackets that flying Miata sells. I only got the sway bars, but hopefully that should still honestly be enough. Um, I have no idea what size these are. I think they're 14. No, they're probably a 12 mil. Okay, so like literally no one could argue this with me. I bought the world's greatest Miata. It was 
$2,800 for this car. It has been garage kept its entire life, and I have not dealt with a single rusted or, you know, I have not dealt with a single rusted or stripped or anything bolt. Every single bolt has come out of this car, no problem. I literally bought the world's greatest Miata. Now, I gotta go change the battery in this thing. And I'm gonna get the other side first and then I'll pull, change the battery and get this side out. I originally watched Money Pit from Donut Media. I watched him do it by just like pulling it off the side, you know, like nice and simple. And I was like, okay, it shouldn't be too bad. And then I just watched Evan Shanks get under the whole car and I was like, that makes perfect sense. I saw that the sway bar bushing was catching on my radiator fan and I pulled it off. So let's compare two things. One, this newer bar is thick boy. Thick boy, not so thick boy. Thick, not thick. Like, this is this is not thick, this is like three season two Q's kind of thick. Also, one point, two points. So, I'm actually curious what's thicker. The, uh, I think the original front is, uh, it's thicker than the, the new rear, but it's much thinner than the, uh, the new front. So let's get this boy in now. Okay, so here's the crappy part. I have to get these end links into here first. The way you adjust these end links is by having the car on the ground. Also, it says do not tighten these all the way until you've got the end links on. So, I'm gonna put the front wheels on, drop it, and uh, struggle with this for a while. Okay, I don't know what's visible. I got the sway bar links in. So now I'm gonna lift up each car, each car, because I've only got two cars, and I'm not lifting up the focus. I'm only gonna lift up, now I'm gonna lift up each side separately and tighten the actual bar um, bolts to it. So, that should be fun. Front end is done, finally. It's only taken me about two hours to do just the front end. They, the instructions literally say that the rear end is way easier. There's a lot less stuff in the way, so. I'm just gonna get going at it and hope it works out. Now these bolts do look kinda rusty. So I'm a little scared, I'm a little scared. But uh, I'll make it work. So the rear has been significantly easier than the front has been by like a lot. And the best part about all of this is every single bolt on the rear has been a 14 millimeter so far. That makes my life super duper easy. So, there is the sway bar. I should compare it to the new rear one. Thick boy, this one's only two C's and a Q, and then very much not thick boy. So, and again, this is three-way adjustable, which I'm gonna put it on the tightest setting, um, and then, you know, adjust it as need be in the future versus this one which is just a single point and uh, I didn't realize I watched Donut Media make the same exact mistake I should have paid attention to which way the sway bar link goes in because these are at an angle oh. Herschel wanted me to talk some bad booty so I'll talk some bad booty <clears throat> that and that both get gaffed by this. Hey, exactly. hey wait a minute. You know what this needs? I had that car up to 100 miles. <laughs> had it? We were, we were tied. Yeah, it was know. tied. No, no. I had mm -hmm. it from 30 to 100. I no had. way. Yes. All right, play the clip right yes. now. Play I the clip right now. Play the clip. Yeah. Ooh, that was a mint 
ship. Oh, I missed oh. The that was a mint ship oh, too. That was the best ship. <laughs> that was a really good ship. <laughs> Zach and Jay and Ryan and then Ben came by, so I just want to hear them in the uh, SS, and it just sounds nice. Okay, so I have the sway bar links, sway bars, everything's in tight, so everything's good, so I'm going to put the wheels on in the rear. And then I'm going to drop the car and take it for a test drive. So let me go set up my GoPro because it's, it's dark outside. So having that GoPro won't make any difference. So I'll put one face in my face so you can see my face reactions and be like, holy crap. As far as chassis still, because I definitely feel that. I'm very happy with that. I gotta fix this door bar bush, I don't know what's going on with it. But it's, it, it didn't go in straight, it's like it's not easy for me to open the door. So I gotta figure out why and what I can do to fix it. But I am so happy with that stuff. Flying the Auto makes a good product. I already knew that, I just never had any. This is that's the first Flying the Auto product I have in my car. That being said, guys. I'm really tired, I'm exhausted, I gotta figure out this door by bushing and then I'm gonna go inside and take a shower, go to sleep. I have work tomorrow morning. It's my Saturday to work, which sucks. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. Um, it was difficult, it was not like, the easiest suspension work I've done, and it was, uh, now that I know how to do it, it'll be a lot easier in the future if I ever have to do it again. I mean, that's just how this whole project is going. This is all stuff I've never done before, so you're learning as I am, or like you're learning with me. There we go. I'm tired, not thinking straight. So guys, have a, have a great rest of your night. Bye, guys.